Okay, now that we're all signed in, watchable wildlife site. Okay. Oh, I do see a pretty flower over there. But it's not wildlife. But blanket flowers are so pretty. We'll go out and see it. Last year when we were here, we saw some ducks on the water, a duck family. No ducks. Oh yeah, there are some little ducks over there on the left. Mount Eldon is straight ahead over there, and we were just below that. Because this is the area that I said, pointing at that mound there, that I was going to go to Picture Canyon, which is behind that mound. this hill last time and doesn't really take you anywhere special. Lots of bee balm in this particular area and you've been seeing some of the other photos I took of the Mexican hat flowers and I can't remember, thought I did something else but anyway. It's very humid right now. <laughs> There's some orange skimmer dragonflies that won't sit still long enough for me to grab a photo. And they're so pretty. Obviously a beautiful area. Water makes a big difference. Historic railroad uh, trestle here. Quite something, really. If 
to hear the water running, so I'll have to run over there and see if we can see anything. Not run, but walk over there. It's lightly sprinkling. Not much. This sounds cool. And I can see the top of Mount Elton over there. Well, I could hear the water, so I went and investigated, but you really can't see anything even walking back up there where I was at. I could see bits and pieces of the water, and you can really hear it, but you can't actually get any photos of it or anything. Seen three, four, five people so far, and I wish I had done this the other way. Oh well, because I've done it this way before. I'm surprised I didn't even think to do it the other way. Sometimes you just get your mind set on doing something and you don't think twice about it. And there's some elevation in this one, but I don't, don't remember where it's at. I don't know if it was that one hill back there that I included in it or what, but anyway, this is a nice little stroll. Although I think this must have been maybe part of the railroad bed. Because you see how wide and flat it is. So I'm thinking maybe that was it, although it's, there's a flat space up there as well. But this seems like the more logical choice to me. Really tall trees in this area. <laughs> and it is really humid. Yuck. Especially when the sun comes out. Now we're just going to meander through the trees, through the forest. <coughs> oh, according to Hazel, we've gone a mile. But my watch says... 0.95. So they're close. Brought to you by a zone tailed hawk. Time 39 minutes 20 seconds. Elevation gain 53 feet. Accumulated help.
how videographers love to film crossing a bridge. See my orange skimmers again. Water looks pretty nasty, doesn't it? It's not potable, FYI. And of course, we've been having lots of rain, so it's bound to look not the prettiest of water anyway. If you look carefully in the video, you'll see those orange skimmers. Oh, there's one that landed. using my pro video on my Ultra Note 20. It looks like it's filming nicely. See, if you whine enough, you get your wishes. Oh my goodness, okay. To the flyby. Quite the entertainer. Oops. All right, tired, it's hot.